Halloween 4, more like Halloween Boar. Yeah. This movie sucks. See you next time. Worse than that joke I just made. Yeah, this is... This is definitely, I think, the low point of the series. This is worse than Halloween 2. And it just came off the heels of Halloween 3, and it came back with Michael Myers, sort of under the guise that, oh, we've got Halloween 4, and it's got Michael Myers in it. From this point on, there's like three movies in a row that are like, Michael Myers is in this one, because there's Return, Return of Michael, Michael Myers, Myers then or Revenge, Revenge, and then Curse of Michael Myers. The spooky trilogy. Michael Myers is in this one, guys. Love us again. How about make a good movie first? Again. <laughs> again. I mean, I... Yeah. I, I can tell that they haven't stopped trying. But in a bad way. Like, they still want to make a spooky movie. And this just isn't scary anymore. Like, this is just Halloween 1, the second time. And to be honest with you, I wasn't the biggest fan of Halloween 1. Like, it's, it's a good movie, but it has its dull moments in it, at least for me. 1 is a slow burn. This one this takes... This one's trying to be a slow burn. And it just stalls out. But it never... Yeah, like, there's no burn at all. So it's just boring. Yeah. And I, there's so many, like, plot holes and just, like, general issues I have. Yeah. Like, well, for starters, Michael doesn't look the same at all. It looks like they went to the store and got the cheapest Michael Myers replica mask they could find. Right. And then got, like, some blonde dude to play him who doesn't look anything like the old Michael. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, this movie... Spends way too much time with the um, with the actors who we know are just going to get killed. Like, I, I don't know. They they just don't spend enough time developing them, and they're they're there, and they're not gonna they're not gonna live to see the end of the movie. We know this. Oh, also, Michael and uh, Donald Pleasance burned to death in two. Yeah, and the mo- it's like there's like a scar. Yeah. On. Donald Pleasance's cheek. It's like it's like that big. Like he's he looks fine. Like scar on the cheek. Like if that's the worst you got from lighting an entire room on fire. Good job. Uh, and then at the beginning of the movie, they're just like, "Oh yeah, Michael's still his patient." How is Michael still his patient? He burned Michael alive. He actually tried to kill him. That is not something any doctor should try to do. At the very least, you shouldn't be his doctor after that. And then, uh, the movie revolves around Laurie's daughter, Jamie. <laughs> Great name. Good, yeah, because Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they never say what happened to Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm pretty sure she comes back in later movies. It's, it, it's presumed that she dies? I would have liked to have seen, you know, some build-up to this. Like... The fact that she's pregnant at one point. We never get to see her pregnant. I don't even know if she has a guy that she hooks up with who, you know. Yeah, because the guy she had a crush on in the first movie was the one who got hit by a police car. So we don't even know who the father is. (laughs) So, yeah, we don't know who the father is. And then, like, the girl, the little girl is at school. And they're all like, oh, Jamie's uncle is the boogeyman. Like, first off. Why would you tell Jamie that? But second, why would anyone at her school know that? Third off, I mean, I know kids are dicks sometimes, but like nobody is that nobody is that bad, except for Michael. But he doesn't talk. I don't know. I I could kind of believe kids being like, "Oh, your uncle's the boogeyman." Well, they start yelling at her for being a freaking orphan. Nobody is that <laughs> mean. Like, they start... Like, Jamie is an orphan. That is not... <laughs> but I think her mother's still alive. Yeah, like, we we don't know. We don't even know who the dad is. As far as we know, it could just be an Anakin Skywalker situation here. Some... <laughs> some off-world Sith came in and impregnated Padme. Or whatever. 
Oh, gee, I, I hope Jamie slaughters her school. She kills her adoptive sister at the end of the movie. Spoilers. Like, she's become Michael Myers. Oh, no. I, I think I it was funny because the doctor, right at... She see, he sees her with the with the bloody scissors, and then he's like, no, no, and he aims a gun at her, and then the, the cop comes in and takes the gun away from him, and then immediately aims that same gun back at the girl. <laughs> it's like, stop pointing guns at little girls. I'm sure they'll definitely follow that plot point up in part five. Man, there are, there are so many similarities between this and Friday the 13th. Like... Down to the point where they've got another person being the villain. But they won't follow through with it. Like, they end the movie with a character killing someone else. But Just probably don't follow through with don't it. Follow, no follow through with that. Um, Except where... No, 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 that's actually pretty... That's, that's pretty nail on the head right there. Although, with Tommy, we were like... Well, you know, maybe. He could be the killer next time. Like, they almost got us with that. Not falling for it. Halloween 4. Well, I mean, it says the revenge of Michael Myers on the box. I don't know. Does he, is he going to be the villain in this one? Um, can we talk about Michael's slasher powers? Yes. Yeah. As far as we know, he's just a guy. Yeah. He's but a he's, pure evil. He's evil. Play the clip. But he, like, he's got, like, the slasher teleportation power in this one. Does he? Well, there's a point where he's on the roof, and then, like, less than a minute later, he's on the ground. And there's also a scene where, like, the girl is in a room, and Michael's in the room, and she opens the door, and Michael's outside the room, but that might have been a dream, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, and also, okay, so, he gets shot by a bunch of guns at one point in the movie. After being run over by a car. Like, in Jason's case, it makes sense for him to be able to take all those hits because he's been... He's undead. Him back to, yeah, he's undead. In this movie, it just... He's just a dude. Just is. And I, I can get behind that, sort of, because, you know, having a villain that um, you don't understand and he's coming for you and he just, just doesn't stop, that's fine. But they don't do it good. Like, he's not a force of nature. Yeah. He's just a guy. Yeah. There's no reason to justify his powers. Like, it, it sort of worked in the first one, because it's like, ooh, he's so ghostly. But then, like, they just keep emphasizing it. Like, all he really did in the first one was survive being shot and falling from a second story window. I Which, mean, they get shot six times. Yeah, it's a little far-fetched, but it's like, you know what? I can suspend my disbelief. Yeah. But then the other movies, it's like... He gets oh, burned alive. He can do anything! Well, okay, Donald, I can do anything Donald Pleasant for sur love. Donald Pleasant survived being burned alive. I think Michael can as well. Technically, yes, but didn't he also get a machete to the face or something like that? He got cut in the face. No, he got shot in the eye. Oh, yeah, he, he got, got shot, shot in the eyes, eyes twice. <laughs> By the way, they never follow that up. Oh, yeah. He, he can see in this movie. Yeah, he should be blinded right now. Oh, man. I never I never realized that. I, for, I totally forgot that he got shot in both of his eyes. Yeah. That's what happens when they put, like, that buffer movie there. They just make you forget about everything. I really wish they had followed up with, like, just having an anthology series. Because yeah. Season of the Witch was really interesting, and, like, with John Carpenter producing it, there could it have been well some interesting acted. stuff. Yeah. It was, it was well acted. It, I mean, it had its problems, sure. Yeah. But it was way better than Halloween 2, and definitely better than this piece of shit. Like, I think... Apart from Friday the 13th, Part 5, I think this is the worst one we've seen so far. Yes. See ya. See ya. It's bad. Don't, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Like, it's falling out. <laughs>
not even worth keeping. This will just be five from now on. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Pumpkins scream in the dead of night. This is Halloween, everybody make a scene. Trick or treat, tell the neighbors gonna die of fright.